वेलकम टू नारायणा ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म माई सेल्फ राघवेंद्र फिजिक्स फैकल्टी ऑफ माधापुर कैंपस ऑफ नारायणा ग्रुप टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ जनवरी फर्स्ट सेशन पेपर ऑफ फिजिक्स आस्ट इन जे ई मेन्स प्लीज सी ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन आर मेमोरी बेस्ड देर मे बी चांसेस ऑफ सम मिस्टेक्स लेट अस स्टार्ट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू सी फाइंड द डिबॉगली वेव लिंक when charge is accelerated through potential 2 volt and if it was lambda not when it is accelerated through v volt they are asking you de broglie wavelength you know that de broglie wavelength lambda this is equal to h by p you know also p equal to under root 2 mk k is kinetic energy if you are accelerating any electron kinetic energy acquired is e into v if any charged particle you are accelerating by v volt it will be q into v so this we can write as h by under root 2 m q v because they have told you when a charge is accelerated so from here you are getting lambda is proportional to 1 by root v now this one will be lambda dash by lambda not will be equal to under root v not by they have given you v and 2v so v let us take v and 2v it is equal to 1 by root 2 so you will have lambda dash equal to lambda not by root 2 so your answer will be lambda not by root 2 answer will be d just uh, units they are asking you match the following pressure impulse coefficient of viscosity and angular momentum you know that for writing units and dimensions it is too much essential to know the definition or formula for example i am going for pressure for pressure okay no this is equal to force by area now force mass into acceleration and area is a mass kilogram acceleration meter per second square meter square okay no so this is if you are writing it kilogram meter by meter square second square it will become kilogram meter minus 1 second minus 2 kilogram meter minus 1 second minus 2 check it is here so a you have number 4 now you are going for impulse if you go for impulse second one this is your a now go for impulse your impulse is change of linear momentum so basically it is m del v this is unit if you are taking it is kilogram meter by second so you will have kilogram meter per second it is already here so this is will be number 1 now coefficient of viscosity if you go for coefficient of viscosity you know that f equal to f equal to 6 pi eta r v now coefficient of viscosity eta will be equal to f divided by you are taking only uh, unit no 6 pi leave it r v so f already you have m into a r v kilogram meter per second square a ah, meter this is meter per second one second you remove meter you remove it will become kilogram meter minus 1 second minus 1 kilogram meter minus 1 second minus 1 so this will be 2 angular momentum d is mvr so l will be equal to mvr kilogram 
meter by second kilogram meter per second and here is meter so this will become your kilogram meter squared second minus 1 kilogram meter squared second minus 1 this is number 3 check your answer should be 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 this is your B your answer will be B clear to you now let us go to next question a ball of mass 100 gram is kept in tunnel along diameter of earth find its time period you take earth anywhere you dig tunnel no need to solve also better this is earth you dig tunnel like this you dig tunnel as, as your wish you dig tunnel like this any way you dig the tunnel and if you drop a body in that your time period will be 2 pi under root r by g we are knowing it very well but if you want to derive it what you do now this is center of earth let us take here at a distance x if I will take a body of mass m, how much force will act? Your F will be equal to G m m, you take m dash by x squared. Will it you? Oh, m dash G mass by 4 by 3 pi r cube into this into volume of this sphere you will be taking it will be 4 by 3 pi x cube by x squared so here it will be cancelled 4 by 3 pi 4 by 3 pi cancelled this will become f equal to g m by r cube m x now this will be equal to m into a so m omega s squared x this m is cancelled you know that x is also cancelled omega s squared will be g m by r s squared and one r you keep here right now g m by r s squared is g so it is g by r Omega S squared, 4 pi S squared by T S squared. This is G by R. So, T will be equal to 2 pi under root R by G. So, your answer is here C. Clear to you. Not only the tunnel which is passing through the center. You can take any tunnel passing from anywhere. If from this side to that side of earth it is always time period will be 2 pi under root r by g now let us move to next question they have given you a diagram in that diagram there is a rod of mass 2 kilogram which is supported with a string attached as shown in figure they have given you with a 8 kilogram mass so here you have 8 kilogram this is 40 centimeter it means this distance is 60 centimeter and the wall support is fixed find the tension they are asking you tension in the string if i take here tension t it will have two components one this side t cos theta and here this side it will be t sin theta T sin theta that is nothing but T by 2. Now what you do let us take this point as O and weight of rod they have given you 2G. So at the middle point here 2G will be acting here 2G will be acting. Now take torque of all the forces about O. If you take torque of T cos theta about O, it will be 0. You have only 3 forces acting. 
for which you can take torque about oh, one is 2g other is 8g and third is t sin theta that is t sin 30 that is t by 2 this one if you take this scale you are fixing it here you will apply force the torque will be acting in clockwise direction right for this also if you take torque will be in clockwise here torque will be acting in anti clockwise for the equilibrium torque due to 2g and torque due to 8g must be equal to torque due to t by 2 you will have 2g into half meter and for this it will be 8g into they have given you length as 1 60 centimeter 40 centimeter is 1 and this should be equal to t by 2 and this distance is 60 centimeter that is 0 0.6 so now it is g 8g 9g 90 and this divided by 0 0.3 that is your t so t will be equal to 900 by 3 this will be equal to 300 newton your answer will be a will it you now let us move to next question a parallel plate capacitor has plate area 40 centimeter squared plate separation 5 millimeter dielectric constant they had given you k equal to 4 thickness 4 millimeter is introduced between the plate then new capacitance will be they have given you separation d d they have given you 5 millimeter okay no and thickness they have given you 4 millimeter either you to remember formula epsilon naught a divided by d minus t plus t by k directly you can get it c will be equal to epsilon naught a by d minus t plus t by k this is capacitor in the capacitor till here up to 4 millimeter okay they have medium whose k is they have given you 4 and here 1 millimeter you have air am i right now c because c will be equal to c will be equal to epsilon naught a by d clear now if you go for this then c dash will be equal to epsilon naught a by d minus t that's one millimeter so you will be taking if this is d i am taking in five millimeter that's epsilon naught a by five so here i will directly take d minus t as one plus four by four so four by four it will become one so epsilon naught a by two from here you see epsilon naught a is 5c so this will become 5c by 2 your c dash will become 2.5c now this is your answer is here okay answer will be 2.5c check it again if you have here c equal to epsilon naught a by d and here epsilon naught a d minus t plus t by k so epsilon naught a from here is 5c epsilon naught a i have taken 5c and it is 1 plus d minus t plus t by k by 2 so i am getting 2.5c your answer will be here 2.5c this will be the answer for this now let us move to next question. The car is moving with a constant speed of 2 meters per second in a circle. Have the radius of. The pendulum is suspended 
from the ceiling of the car. This problem that it can be equal to the structure of the car. Okay, you can take simply tan theta will be equal to V squared by R G. V squared they have given you two four by R eight by fifteen G ten five two times three times. Okay, four two times. You are getting three by four. Theta will become your thirty-seven degree. Your answer will be C. If you want, you can show also in the diagram. If it is like this, if this is the bob, here you will be taking mg. Okay, no, and in this way you complete. Okay, no, here you will be taking m v s squared by R and T you will be taking here. If this angle is theta, here it will be T cos theta, and here it is your T sine theta. T sine theta is giving you centripetal force, and T cos theta is balancing mg. Take the ratio tan theta equal to V square by R G. Whether directly we know tan theta is V square by R G. So answer for this question is C. Now let us move to next question. An electromagnetic wave is propagating along Z direction, having electric field along positive Y direction. Find direction of magnetic field. So you see, C will have direction of E cross E cross B. I have taken unit vector. Direction of C they have given you Z means it is K. Direction of electric field they have given you Y means J. Now they are asking you direction of B. So let us be like this. If you take circular permutation rule, this is I. This is J. This is K. I cross J is K, J cross K is I, K cross I is J. Okay, no. If I will take K cross I is J, here it is J, K I want. I cross J is K, so J cross I will be minus K. If I want K, it should be J cross minus I know. So direction of B will be your minus I. Answer will be B. Check here. So direction of magnetic field will be minus I. Let us move to now next question. A Carnot engine gives fifty percent efficiency for source temperature of six hundred Kelvin. What should be source temperature if eta is seventy percent? Is required for sink temperature. For same sink temperature means T two is same. You want T one. So first you go for formula eta equal to one minus T two by T one. They have told you fifty percent means one by two, one minus T two by T one. T one they have given you six hundred. Now, T two by six hundred one minus half is half, so you got T two equal to three hundred Kelvin. Once T two is ready, now go for second part. They have told you eta equal to seventy percent means zero point seven equal to one minus T two by T one. 300 by T1. So you will have or 300 by T1. 1 minus 0.7. That will become 0.3. So T1 will be equal to 300 by 0.3. Your answer will be 
1000 Kelvin, answer will be C. Check simple formula based eta 1 minus T2 by T1. Let us move to next question now. T is the temperature of a gas RMS velocity again under root 3 RT by M. Okay, no. So they are asking you RMS speed V RMS. Okay, no. This is under root 3 RT by M. So it is directly proportional to root T that is T half direct formula based questions have come that one also single formula based question is there answer will be A. Clear to you? Now let us move now to next question. The period of pendulum at earth surface is T find the time period of pendulum at a distance which is twice the radius of earth. On the surface of earth T for a simple pendulum is 2 pi under root L by G. It means that 2 pi constant L constant. You have to concentrate only on effective value of G. You have to go to twice the radius of earth. We know altitude effect G dash by G R square by R plus H square h they have given you r so this will be r squared by 4 r squared so g dash will become g here g by 4 so t dash 2 pi under root l by g by 4 4 will come here this will become 2 times of 2 pi root l by g this is nothing but 2t. Please check the answer. Answer will be D. Very, very simple. Altitude effect, you have to know. Second, time period formula for simple pendulum from childhood, you know, t equal to 2 pi root L by G. Very simple. Now, let us move to next question. A particle travels half of total distance with speed V1. Suppose particle is traveling distance s, half means s by 2, it is traveling with v1, remaining s by 2, it travels with v2. Average velocity or average speed, it will be net displacement by total time taken. So average speed will be equal to s divided by t1 s by 2 v1 v1 plus s by 2 v2 this is s s by 2 you take common 1 by v1 plus 1 by v2 so this will be equal to s is cancelled it will be 2 v1 v2 and here it will be v1 plus v2 2 v1 v2 by v1 plus v2 your answer is a clear to you now let us move to next question find the ratio of density of helium nucleus and calcium nucleus see nuclear density except for very very lighter nuclei or for very very heavy nuclei for remaining it will always remain constant if you are taking the graph already you know the nature of graph goes like this for nuclear density only here and here slight changes there whether nuclear density always remain constant okay so i can directly take one is to one if you want to find by density formula, this will become mass by volume 4 by 3 pi r cube and r equal to r naught a to the power 1 by 3. If you go for here, 
then it will be a by 4 by 3 pi r naught cube again a cancel this is a constant quantity only for very very lighter nuclei it will vary or for very heavy nucleus it will vary for remaining nuclei it will always remain constant so answer will be 1 is to 1 here you have taken distance from the center of nucleus here you have taken density is it clear to you now let us move to next question in an lcr circuit capacitance is c angular frequency they have been omega self inductance for having maximum current you know that for maximum current l omega must be equal to 1 by c omega current will be maximum when net impedance will be equal to resistance of the circuit so you have l omega will be equal to 1 by c omega they are asking you l l will be equal to 1 by c omega square or 1 by omega square c answer is c straight forward answer you are getting question is damn simple the important factor is here maximum current for maximum current capacitive reactance must be equal to inductive reactance l omega must be equal to 1 by c omega now let us move to next question the phase difference between two light waves is 60 degree so phase difference they have given you pi 60 pi by 3 distance between the source of okay source of here originally they have told you 10 uh, nanometer so x they are giving you 10 into 10 to the power minus 9 10 to the power minus 8 meter they are asking you frequency so if you go for tap difference that difference equal to 2 pi by lambda if you are going for phase difference equal to 2 pi by lambda into path difference that's x you take this is pi pi 3 2 pi lambda 10 to the power minus 8 pi is cancelled lambda equal to 6 10 to the power minus 8 meter now you want frequency frequency will be equal to c by lambda that is 3 10 to the power 8 by 6 10 to the power minus 8 hertz if you take up it will become 1 by 2 10 to the power 16 so you can take it as 5 10 to the power 15 hertz 5 10 to the power 15 hertz they have not given 10 to the power 15 they have to say if frequency is f then answer we can take 5 10 to the power 15 in product they should be given now next question an lc oscillator has frequency omega inductance is increased l dash 2l capacitance is increased 8 times c they are asking you omega l omega equal to 1 by c omega l omega 1 by c omega omega a squared 1 by lc they are asking you new omega so omega equal to 1 by root lc we want omega dash by omega will be equal to under root lc by l dash is 2l c dash is 8c so this will become 1 by 16 means 1 by 4 omega dash will become omega by 4 your answer will be C omega by 4. Let us move to next question. With the half life of a radioactive material, 
T half they have given you. T half 30 minutes. Find the time taken for 75 degree completion of process. 75 percent decayed. Undecayed how much? 25 percent. In T half, one half life, it will be 50 percent. In two T half, it will become 25 percent. The answer will be directly two T half. No need to use formula n equal to n naught e to the power minus lambda t or not. Directly it is two half life. Half life they have been 30 minutes. So this will be equal to t will be equal to 2 into 30 minutes equal to 60 minutes. That one hour. So answer will be a. Will it you? Yeah, I am question you have. Directly related to T half they have asked you. Let us go to next question. They are asking you bandwidth. You see here, carrier frequency they have given 20 megahertz and signal frequency they have given you 5 kilohertz. You know that bandwidth, bandwidth, this is equal to 2 and m. So 2 into 5, 10 kilohertz. Answer is directly here, 10 kilohertz. Simpler than this. What question will be getting? The state forward question they are asking you. Now, consider the following statement in relation to diode. Photodiode, you already know photodiode. They are asking you whether it is operated in forward bias or reverse bias mode. Only you know theoretical question, conceptual question. It is working in reverse bias because holes will be collected in P type, electrons will be collected one type, and that whenever intensity we are considering the light, light is going on falling, the number will be going on increasing, PD between these two will be going on increasing. So, first statement assertion is correct one photodiode is operated in reverse bias mode. And in PN junction diode, yes, in reverse bias mode current is less, but they are asking you significant current is flowing or not. Yes, significant current is flowing, and you know that complete general diode it will be working only in reverse bias mode. Even if your photo diode it is working in reverse bias mode. So both the statements are correct. But actually the reason means reason is not the correct explanation of the question. So, answer will be both are correct, but reason is not the correct explanation for assertion. Answer will be B.